Let's see how we can set up PHP and run PHP in Visual Studio Code without XAMPP. First, we will install PHP without XAMPP, then we will add PHP to environment variable, and finally we will install the required PHP extension. So let's get started. First, go to this URL, I'll have this in the description below, and click on this zip here. Let's wait till this download is complete. So finally, our PHP code is now downloaded. So let's go back to our downloads folder. And from here, I'll move it to C drive and just paste it here or wherever you want. So click on continue. And once this is copied, right click on this and click on extract all. And click on extract. So now the file is successfully extracted. I will just rename this so that the path or the folder name is a bit easier. I'll call it just PHP and we can delete this now. Okay, so once we have PHP downloaded and extracted, I'll go to my Visual Studio Code and let's create a new project. So I'll just click on File, Open Folder and then Desktop, I'll just create a new folder for our project. Let's call it my PHP project. Select this folder and let's create a PHP file and let's see what happens when you try to run it. So I'll call it index.php and I'll just paste some PHP code. So this is just a sample PHP code and let's try to run this. So click on run and click on run without debugging or anything. And as you can see, we'll get this message that says there is no PHP extension. So what you need to do is go to search and search for, not search, go to extensions and search for PHP IntelliFence. And this is the one, IntelliFence from IntelliFence.com. Click install. And as you can see, you will have to disable the built-in PHP extension to use this. So I'll just search for this and then disable that extension. Let's search for this. And in my case, I already have it disabled. But in your case, you can disable this if it is uh, showing enabled. Now, go back to your file here. Sorry, go back to extensions and search for PHP server. Now you'll see this, the first result from Papifra with the, these many downloads and uh, these many ratings. Now click on install. Okay, so once both the extensions are installed, go back to your PHP file and right click and cl click on PHP server server project. Now here you'll see this message PHP not found. This is because we have downloaded PHP file here, but we have not added this to environment variable. So copy this and press your windows key and search for environment variables click on environment variables come here to path and double click on this and double click on this empty row at the bottom and paste it click ok click ok and click ok again and finally go back to your vs code and let's try running this again right click and click on php server server project and you'll again see this message so close visual studio code and let's start visual studio code again this time i will right click and do this again and this time as you can see our code is working and our php is hosted so this is how you can set up php and if you want to open that page again after closing what you can do is just click on control click on this link and your page will open again if you have any questions let me know in the comments below